guys, so um, I guess we'll go ahead and do another video while I'm at it and I got the YouTube up and all this stuff, so let's see, what are we going to do first? Oh, yeah, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the things I'm going to be fishing with and the good things to fish with around the, um, I guess, bays and stuff and the flats around um, around Fort Pierce area, the Fort Pierce area, the Bing's Landing, Flagler County area, um, in the Matanzas Inlet area. I'm going to tell you all guys a little bit about the stuff that I've been catching down there. But um, first thing I want to tell you guys about are these they're um big bite baits you can buy them at gander mountain for a pretty good price they're uh there's another price in here but they're these colored paddle tails they're called they're the four inch shad chartreuse shine those are real good throw those on a jig head I made this setup right here. Basically, it's just a swim bait with a weedless hook that needs to be reset. Weedless hook. Little tiny bit of leader line and a spinner head. Like, not a spinner head on it, but it's got like a flashy head on it. It's kind of weird. With beads and crap. It works good for trout and flounder, especially flounder. They love them for some reason. I don't know why, but they catches the crap out of flounder. I only have one left. I used to have like eight of them. Um, another thing from Big Bites that I have is the four inch shads again, but they're in this color. Paddle tails. They are. Sexy shad, that's what they're called. Four inch shads, sexy shad. There's ten in a pack, and it's the same way with the green ones. And then I have two inch shads. They're pearl. So we'll take one of these out. This is also from Big Bite Baits, but these are little tiny ones. They're pearl. I only have a couple of these left because I've been catching the crap out of stuff on these little ones. This came in a package of 10 too, but I only have that many left. Just in the bottom, like a couple. Everybody knows gulp shrimp. They always work. These are camo shrimp, 3 inch. I have gulp pearl white. Um, jerk shads, they're five inches right here. These work real good. Throw those on one of those weedless hooks. And then I have a five inch jerk shad glow instead of pearl, they're glow. Um, move on to, uh, oh, I have this thing. Or these. They're swimming super flukes, white pearl. I'll take one of these out for you show you their texture they actually have like ribs on top of the back right here cut belly paddle tail right here super flukes they're more for bass fishing but I catch a lot of stuff in the um, Matanzas area on these um, moving on to these mirror lures I bought this right here this assortment box Right here, of mirror lures, and there's four different types in here, except for I have one thing. Also, there's a uh, chartreuse green big bite baits in the beginning. This is the same thing, but smaller, not by big bites. These are from Bass Assassin. They're paddle tails, but they're about mm, three inches. Um, I have these white things from mirror lure, little jerk shad things, they're clear. 
find these green ones. Red or, or uh, pinkish orange. Or pinkish green, kind of. With sparkle. And then a clear with sparkle. These all work great in every area that I mentioned fishing. And um, we'll move on to plugs now. This is my favorite right here. This is a Rapala Skitterwalk. It's the trout version. It works especially good in Mosquito Lagoon area. And, um, and the uh, Fort Pierce area early in the morning. And then this is a, gosh, I don't remember who makes these things, but you get them at Bass Pro Shops and they're like a banana shape. They're like curved there, their back is curved. Right there, you can see. And you can see how many fish I've caught on this thing. I've lost an eyeball. You can see all the scratches and crap. I need to put new hooks on it, but this works like crazy. Um, everything in every location um i got these special at a beach or at a uh, tournament i won these right here um i got this thing deep diver i got um this is a super deep diver it's a smaller one but it's got a big old bill on it and then i got this thing which is a freshwater one a shad or whatever and then that's it for plugs um these bobbers everybody you know bobbers are just bobbers but or corks or whatever people want to call them i want to show you guys the jig heads i like to use or i'll show you the weighted weedless hooks they're the red ones with the, the weight on right there um different colors of jig heads I like to use um, the main one I like to use is uh, red everybody uses red I think it's mostly known um, I'm just trying to get them out there we go we have red which looks like orange pink neon green and white and then over here, I have some really cool jig heads. Or I only have one more left because I've been using them so much. But this thing, it looks orange, but it's actually red with shine to it, like some glitter kind of crap. But, um, so yeah, that's that jig head. And then I have a whole bunch of other jig heads in here, just kind of. Colors of jig heads and stuff. Let's go ahead and put all these away. And then. So, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm going to do a, another video after this one. I'm going to go ahead and end this one. Then um, I'll put a thing up to go on how to rig um, some of these lures. And I'm going to post a whole bunch of videos tonight how to rig some of these lures up so um thanks for watching rate comment subscribe and um you know keep on watching my videos because i'll have some more cool stuff up thanks